Hello everyone, um, my name is Tanya and I am doing this video to bring awareness um, about a condition that I've suffered with since I was a child. Um, this condition has caused me to live in a lot of shame, a lot of guilt, a lot of confusion, and you know, I've never talked about it. Um, primarily because this condition didn't have a name. It didn't have a description. Um, I didn't know of anybody who, um, was dealing with this type of thing as well as it's nothing that you could look up on the internet and find or, or anything. And like I say, I've been dealing with it since I was a child and I just really want to do this video to bring awareness because I have recently found out that it does now have a name and there's a reason behind um, the condition. And um, so I just want to bring light to it. That's what I'm going to do today. Um, the condition or the disorder is called developmental topographical disorientation. And I'm gonna read, you know, the definition of this. It can really get technical, so I'm just going to kind of condense it. But I'm gonna refer to it as DTD because it's a pretty long name. So DTD is a lifelong inability of an individual to navigate in extremely familiar and unfamiliar surroundings. So the brain cannot form a cognitive map or mental representation of your environment. Um, when you're new to an environment, you start building in your mind knowledge about places and landmarks and you create a spatial relationship in your brain between the places so that you can move from place to place uh, without getting lost. So people with this condition, uh, basically their brain cannot form a mental map or take a mental picture of the surroundings so they are continuously getting lost. I mean, a neighborhood that you, you've grown up in all your life, you will still get lost. And in uh, the most severe cases, people get lost in their own homes. Like, is that deep? Is that serious? So about a week ago, um, I just got super depressed and I was just like, God, what is going on? Like, what is really going on? And I was just laying down. I prayed and I was just, I just gave it to God. I was like, you know, you know, I know this is not your will for me to feel like this. I know this is not your will for me to be in this emotional state. <clears throat> and it was just a prompting to do a search. And mind you, I have done searches online. I have done searches in the past, nothing. So I just searched always getting lost or something to that effect. And when I did, this condition came up and I was like my eyes, I already have big eyes. I mean, I was just floored. So I clicked on the link and I started reading and I was just amazed that there were other people out there who were dealing with this condition. And it was just mind blowing. It was just mind blowing. I think the first documented case was in 2009. Um, and so I started doing my research and all of that. And it was just like within, from that day, that was January 1st, from that day, 
days later, it was just like this huge sense of shame. The shame that I've been dealing with since I was a little girl just lifted off of me. And I cannot tell you that type of feeling. I cannot even describe it. I'm still in awe. Um, and it, it, it's just amazing to me. Um, now, having this disorder, I know it's very hard for people to grasp this concept that you can go the same way for one, two, three, 10, 15, 20 years and you will still get lost. You will still get lost. Imagine, imagine being that way and trying to tell somebody that. <laughs> imagine you are, somebody asks you for a ride in a town that you have lived in all your life, half your life, years. And anxiety raises up or rises up in you because you know that when they get in that car and you get in that car and you take off in that car, you haven't, you don't, you don't know where to go. Imagine the way they would <laughs> look at you or what they would think about you. And this is what I've been dealing with my entire life. Um, and it's not just going somewhere, getting lost. This thing has isolated me from people. It has affected my relationships, my friendships, my career choices, my, my entire life. My entire life has been affected by this disorder. And not just mine, but people, other people who deal with this as well and I've joined a Facebook group um, and it is just unreal um, there's one individual that's on the group that expressed that he doesn't have he won't have any children or he doesn't have any children and his life is just terrible no relationship he's not married because of this and I know people don't understand. They're like, oh, okay, you just get lost a lot. Um, <clears throat> and I thank God for GPS because if there was, if it wasn't for GPS, I don't know what I would do. I really don't know what I would do. Um, I would always be so afraid of people asking me for a ride. I would be so afraid to develop friendships and go different places because I knew that I would get lost. And not only driving from place to place, even buildings. I get lost in buildings. Um, buildings that I'm familiar with, you know, I will still get lost in the building because my brain cannot remember. Um, so it's very... It has been a very embarrassing and shameful condition. Me feeling so self-conscious, so slow, you know, like, girl, what is wrong with you? You know, I mean, it's affected everything. Um, so I've been pretty much a loner my entire life. I'm already an only child. Um, my closest family members are no longer living. My mom is deceased. My stepdad is deceased. I have no sisters or brothers. I have a very tiny family. I know. I mean, I have a large family, but I wasn't raised around them. So I really don't know a lot of my family. So uh, it's already a, a super lonely feeling. Um, and... And I, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Um, but that, um, along with this condition, 
has even further caused me to isolate myself from people because of the shame and embarrassment in it. Because it's, it's not even, um, like I say, about getting lost <clears throat> while driving. Um, it's going places and you leave, I'll leave the room. For instance, I'll be in a restaurant and I'll go to the bathroom. And then when I come out of the restroom, I get anxiety because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find where I was, the table I was at. And see, I have all these things in my head when I'm invited somewhere. Um, first of all, the struggle that it's going to take to get there. Second of all, <clears throat> the parking lot area, that's a, a huge, a huge anxiety issue for me because it's hard for people with this condition to navigate in and out of uh, parking lots. Um, and it's just a whole thing. <laughs> it is a whole thing um, when I have to go somewhere. Now it has been a little bit easier with GPS because I can go to my destination. I can get back. But just imagine before then, I literally, um, before all this GPS stuff came out, I had a folder of directions that I would Google, or no, I'm sorry, MapQuest. I would go on there and put the directions to the place and from the place. Because if I only had one way, I would get lost coming back. So I literally would be driving and I have this paper of all of the places that I have to go. Like if I had went to this store, had to go to this store and then go to a relative's house and then I would have to print from A to B, from B to A, from, I, I would even do different scenarios if I went from the store to my relative, I would have that direction. I would have my relative back to my home. I would have the store to the relative, the relative back to the store. I mean, literally. So I'm driving, I got this piece of paper in my hand and I'm trying to look and thank God I haven't gotten into any accidents with this Google printout of directions. It's cr I know it sounds so crazy, it sounds so crazy guys, but imagine how I feel. Imagine how crippling this is to somebody, especially something that I have been hiding because I didn't know what it was. Like, I didn't know how to describe it. I didn't know how to say it. I did, and people that have attempted to describe this condition to their family members or friends, the family member or friends are confused and it gets frustrating, so you don't even bother. So, um, and this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to describing life with this. Um, and I'm going to do more videos because I wish, now I don't know how long the website has been around describing this condition, but I know I've never found it. And I know that I've been searching. I did stop searching after some years because I'm like, okay, I guess there's nothing. So it, it may have been out for some time, but I'm sure there are a lot of people who are suffering with this that don't know, that do not know about this realization of this condition, the, the acknowledgement and all of that. And they're continuing to do studies on this, on the brain and, um, you know, they're trying to hopefully catch it in children so that they can work with them so they don't have to live like this. Um, 
So I want to bring awareness because I know the isolation, the shame, the guilt, the just torment of this. And it's, it, it is tormenting. It is absolutely tormenting to deal with this, to live with this. And trust me, I know um, <clears throat> I'm not, you know, asking for pity or anything like that. But I just know the damage that it has done to me. And if I can help somebody, if I can bring light to it, that's what I want to do. Um, I believe I found one video of a lady who did a YouTube describing what she goes through and that's it it's like this thing is really not well known um i believe they say it's between one to two percent of the population that has this condition um and i know there are people who get lost more than others i know there are people who don't have the best sense of direction like my stepfather used to joke on me and be like girl you'll get lost in the phone booth and you know you know i laugh it off or when people be like, you know, why are you going this way? You know, I just try to play it off or I've even acted like I was from a different state, y'all. I have acted like I was in a different state or I haven't lived here long because that's how ashamed. That is how ashamed I was. Um with this condition and the amount of times that I have been lost. When my grandmother, my grandmother Eudine was having brain surgery and I wanted to see her off too. I wanted to see her before, excuse me, before they took her back. And I got lost. Excuse me. I got lost. And when I finally made it to where I was supposed to be, they were wheeling her back. And I just saw her briefly. And I just, I, you know, I said, I love you. I don't know if she heard me. But she ended up passing away. Um, when my stepfather passed, um, I got lost going to the hospital to see him. I got called from my job. So I immediately, but you know, the hospital called me. I immediately left and rushed out and it, I ended up like going to a VA hospital first. And then I, I finally ended up making it to him. But when I tell you that's devastating, it's devastating. He was had passed away by the time I got there. But just to go through that, just to go through that, um, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. So that's why I feel like it's so important for me to, um, ex you know, just bring attention and awareness to this disorder because I can laugh at it. You know, I can laugh at myself now, but it's not funny. It's not something that a person can control. It's not like I can do different activities or just plan my route and just go somewhere so many times and you know then I've got it 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 doesn't work that way um so I I just really wanted to get this information out there I really wanted to get it out there and I hope that if someone's going through this, that they will find this video. If you know of someone, um, because usually when people have this disorder, they are not going to tell you. They are not going to share it. 
they're not going to be open about it because they think they're alone. They think they're the only one. They think they're slow. They think they're stupid and you name it. Insert whatever demeaning word that you want to insert there. They usually think that about themselves. So if you know somebody who gets lost all the time, um, or, you know, you have a feeling about them or they have a bad sense of direction or something like that, you know, just ask, ask them, do they have a problem getting around? Just ask them, do they have a problem remembering where they go? Um, and like I say, I'm going to do other videos because I want to get this out because I wish someone would have done a video. I wish I would have been able to come across somebody's video and explain this disorder so I would know that I was not the only person. Um, and so I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, if anybody has any questions, definitely um, you can leave comments and uh, things like that. I'll leave a description of the website that I found and some of the research that I found. And um, I just hope you guys uh, have a great evening and thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And um, so if you see me around, <laughs> I may be asking you for directions. <laughs> so help me out, help me out. If you see me around, help me out. And um, so, I love you guys and thank you.